Hey, this is Nate Mill. In this video, I'm going to unroot a HTC Droid Incredible 2 following JCase's guide here on Roots Wiki. First step is to download this file. It's the stock Froyo firmware. So I have that downloaded right here. It has a very long file name. Okay, and then you're going to plug your phone into your computer and put it into disk drive mode so you can access your SD card and we're going to copy that file onto the root of our SD card not in any folder Okay, when that's finished, we're going to rename it. You can right click it, rename. All you're going to do is take everything off after the PG32 IMG. Okay. Just like that. Do not add any dot zips. Yours might not say dot zip, but if you didn't delete a dot zip, don't add a dot zip. If you want to make sure, of the file name, go ahead and right click this, Properties, Details tab, and look right here at the name. It should look just like this. PG32IMG.ZIP Okay, now we're going to check the MD5 sum of that file. So download this MD5 sum portable tool from the video description. Go ahead and launch it. Click these three dots. navigate to your SD card and find the file, the PG32 IMG file. It'll calculate the MD5 sum and display it here. And then we need to go back to the guide, copy this MD5 sum of what it's supposed to be, paste it right here in this compare box, push the compare button, and it'll tell us if they're the same. Okay. They should be the same. If they're not the same, you need to re-download the file. Okay, when that's finished, take your phone out of disk drive mode and put it into USB debugging mode. In order to do that from the home screen, click Menu, Settings, Applications, Development, and check USB debugging. And then allow it. And you'll see a new notification in your notification bar. Okay, then we'll continue. You need to download the HTC drivers and install these. If you followed my rooting video, you already have those installed so you don't need to worry about it. Okay, after you've done that, you need to download this file, the Incredible 2 Unroot. I'm gonna extract that. Okay, so you just have a folder with these files in it. You're going to cut or copy that folder and put it on the root of your C drive. Okay, so not in any folder. So just like that. Then we're going to go start in the search bar here, type CMD, or if you're on XP, go to run, then CMD. We're going to type CD space um, C colon backslash IN tab and enter. And here we're going to type ADB devices. Okay, here it says list of devices attached. Here's our phone serial number and it says device over here. If you don't have anything listed here, then you don't have the drivers installed, so you need to install those. Okay, then we're going to type ADB reboot bootloader. And then I'll show you how your phone should look. Okay, your phone will then boot to this screen. It should say Alpha Rev at the top and Fastboot USB there in red. 
bootloader in blue, so we're going to push the power button, then leave it, and then it'll check for that zip file we put on the SD card. There we go. It says it's loading it. You can see the progress bar right here. If yours just flashes and doesn't load it like mine is, then you name the file wrong. Make sure there's only one dot zip on the end. And I'm going to skip forward here. Okay, it's finished loading the zip. So it asked me here, do you want to start update? Volume up for yes. If you don't get this screen, do not continue with the guide because you can brick your phone. Okay, so I'm going to hit volume up. And it's starting to upgrade us or downgrade us. Okay, so I'll see you when that's finished. Okay, it's finished updating. It says press power to reboot. So that's what I'll do. So my phone's booted back up now, or at the initial setup. What we need to do now is confirm that our phone reverted back to the stock Froyo. If it hasn't, then you should not move on because you can brick your phone in the next step. Okay, there's a big danger in the guide. So I'm just going to go to the settings, about phone, software information. It says Android version 2.2.1. Before this I was running CyanogenMod 7 so I know it worked. Okay, now you need to put your phone back into USB debugging mode. So, settings, applications, um, development, check USB debugging, and select OK. And I will see you on the computer. So, after you're 100% sure that the file downgraded your phone to the stock Froyo, then we can continue. So I'm going to open up the guide here, and we're going to need to run some commands next. Okay, so first I'm going to type ADB devices to make sure my phone's connected, and it is because it says device here. If it says offline, just turn USB debugging off, turn it back on, and then run ADB devices again, and it should say device. Okay, so then... I'm then going to run each line here. Just copying from the guide, pasting into the console. Okay, make sure you get that whole line because it goes down. Okay, now we're going to move on to here to gain temp root. It kills ADB, but that's fine, it's supposed to do that. We're going to verify the MD5 sum of the new bootloader that we're going to flash. Okay, at this point you need to compare this output here to this from the guide, and they have to match exactly.
Okay, mine matches, so I'm going to continue. Notice the big danger here. It's very important that this matches. Okay, so make sure you check that. Now this is going to actually write the new bootloader or the stock bootloader. Okay, now we're going to check and make sure it wrote correctly. Again, you need to check this output with this from the guide. Has to match exactly. Okay, mine matches. So then I'm done. I'm unrooted officially. So what I'm going to do now is boot back to the bootloader and just make sure that that alpha res labels off of my bootloader. So I'm going to type adb reboot bootloader. So here we are back in the bootloader. As you can see the alpha res label at the top is gone and it says S on here. That means we successfully flashed back to the stock bootloader. So now we have the stock bootloader and the stock ROM so we're officially unrooted. So to get out of this screen just hit the volume down to go down to reboot and hit the power button. And there you go, you're unrooted.